Hello, YouTube Balonians. Hey, I found a way to avoid giving your cat shocks when you're petting them. I'll show you how. Don't you hate how everything you do in the winter builds up static within you and then everything you touch gets shocked? Ow! Don't! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I laughed too hard. I'm getting lightheaded. What do you mean? <laughs> I just did it to mom right on her nose. Ow. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I thought my feet were a dead giveaway. So last night, I was doing that to mom. And Sadie got between us and totally, totally protected mom. Absolutely, 100%. And even I would just start to point, and she'd go, no, and say he'd get all upset. Yeah. Watch this. I like this word, activity toys. I can take that, but what's social junior? Do you know what that is? Uh, uh, oh, uh. I... Well, it might be fun building up static and shocking your other family members, but it's no fun for your pets. It seems like no matter how hard you try to avoid it, when you pet your animals, their hair just gets all full of static. And then you end up shocking them by accident completely every time you touch them. Look at the electricity. It's amazing that he doesn't just run away. Most of my cats that I've had in the past just are like, don't touch me in the month of January and February. I hate static. Especially with the ears. They hate when you even approach to touch them because they're like, you're going to give me a shock, but I want you to pet me. Yeah, see that? See that reaction? He's like, yes, pet me, but oh, you're going to give me a shock. Oh, but I love that. I love when you scratch my back. About the time your hand gets right about here, static electricity builds up and gives your cat a shock through one or more fingers. Well, the cause of that is very, very low humidity in the winter for those of us who live in winter wonderland. Look at these guys. <laughs> yeah, they have to soothe each other and pet each other because when I go to pet them, they get a shock from my hand. So if you go to pet your cat, right about here, ooh, there it is, big shocks. And look at that. They hate, and then you, you build up a charge that's in your hand, and when you go to start at the head again, the shock discharges right through their ears. And then, it, then the cats learn to fear your hand because you're like so full of electricity. <laughs> look at that, it shocked his ear right there. After you give him a shock, then he thinks that he got hurt, and then he has to lick that spot and make it recover. It's kind of terrible because you don't want to not pet your cats. But I found a remedy for you people. If you touch the pad of his foot while you're petting him with your other hand, your cat won't get static discharge. There will be no shock, and the cat will be happier. And so if you can somehow find a way to be touching their paw, and not just the paw here, you have to actually touch the pads. Don't those look like coffee beans? Isn't he cute? Those are like little coffee beans. That's the part you have to be touching. And you don't have to like squeeze it or anything. You just got to have some part of you touching it. You can touch any part of them actually. Their lip, their nose, their paw. Of course, it's not real practical to touch their nose and pet them. <laughs> Although, maybe they wouldn't accept it. <laughs> it's like... Any direct contact to their, what you would call skin, um, will ground you to the cat. And so then they won't get uh, the static discharge that they've been getting from you all winter. Of course, unless he hates you touching the pads of his foot. Let's check this out. Here's how you do it. Just kind of passively touch your skin to the pad of their foot. Oh, look at that. They hate that. That's the only little disc. Maybe try it like this. See, he's hanging on to my hand. <laughs> he's acting silly, too. See, he's touching my hand. There's no discharge. I discovered this by accident because he, he actually likes to hold my hand with the other foot. And while he was doing that, I'm like, well, why isn't he... Hear that? No, they're static. I'm not touching them. Listen to all that static. It's even bugging his ear. <laughs> Poor guy. So touch the pad of his foot and pet him. And you'll have no discharge of static whatsoever. Isn't that cool? 
If you're a cute kitten, raise your hand. Raise your paw. Yeah. I actually discovered this by accident. Uh, the other day, I was petting him, and he, he likes to hold my hand with one paw. He doesn't like me touching his paw, but he does like to hold my hand with one paw. And with the other hand, I was petting him, and I all of a sudden realized, hey, there's no static discharge. There's no sparks. Why not? And I realized it's because when you touch the pad of their foot while you're petting them, the static goes through your hand into their foot, and it doesn't cause a spark. In other words, the electrons transfer at a more regular rate and don't build up a big charge of a bunch of volts or joules. You're grounding yourself so that the transfer of electrons stays uh, at a reasonable level where it does not create a static discharge. That sounds rather scientific, doesn't it? Well, it is rather scientific, actually. And Mason, you're being the cutest right now. You must know you're on camera. Just the way you're laying there. Of course, you're always cute. So, And, by the way, this works with dogs as well. With dogs, they have this big, cute nose that they don't mind if you touch. You can, do, you can touch their nose. Pet away. No shocks. Yes. You don't need to de be defibrillated every time I pet you, huh? What a cute doggy. With dogs, you could use their ear instead, because that's surface contact. That's contact with the skin. You can simply just hang on to their ear and pet away. Good girl. Or touch their paw. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, I can pet you without giving you shocks. She hates that when I don't do it. And so there's a little tip for you on how to pet your cat and have it not be such a shocking experience. <laughs> you cracked me up.